Good morning guys I hope everyone is doing good and staying safe from the thumbnail of this video you already know the topic for this video in this video I'll show you how to fix a USB mobile charger on your motorcycle I am pretty sure that you must have seen a lot of videos on this particular topic I have also seen but the most of people either cutting the wire and connecting the mobile charger or they are connecting the mobile charger directly with the battery but I will neither connect the charger directly with the battery nor I will cut any wire in my motorcycle so let's get started this is Oni and I welcome you to my youtube channel Oni online guys before we move forward to the parts and components and how to fix the mobile charger without cutting any wire and without connecting it directly to the battery let me tell you something why you should not connect the mobile charger directly with your battery if you are connecting the mobile charger directly with your battery then the usb port of that charger will be always powered on and just imagine you have parked your bike somewhere and someone find that yes uh, from this particular usb port i can charge my mobile phone then uh, he can leave you an empty battery and also if there is a fault in your usb charger then also your uh, battery will be drained out and that will leave you an empty battery and then your vehicle will not be started and if you cut anywhere of your motorcycle to connect the mobile charger your warranty can be void and you will not be able to claim any warranty on your motorcycle and also that can lead to many other problems so it is always better not to cut any wear on your motorcycle and not to connect the usb charger directly with the battery so now let me show you the parts and components first and then i'll show you how to do it actually these are the components guys we need to fix the mobile charger on our motorcycle and this is the box of this charger and here it says it's a 5 volt 2 ampere charger that means it's a 10 watt charger and the input range is 12 to 24 volts and i got it for rupees 399 only from amazon this is the charger it has a cap like this which makes it a bit waterproof and this on off switch i like this feature very much and you will get all the fittings and clamps here and guys just let me tell you one thing whenever you are fixing the charger on your handlebar keep this orientation in mind uh, so that it will be easier for you to fix it on the handlebar you can take a note of this guys apart from the charger you will also need this wire connector this is called 2 pin 2.8 millimeter male female electrical wire connector i have got this from robotics dna and i'll leave the link in the description box below so this part will be pre-installed on your motorcycle like i had and you have to connect this part with the chargers wear like i have done the charger doesn't come with the pre-installed connector you have to do it on your own and that is very very easy guys so you just have to connect the charger square with this pin if you have a soldering iron that will be very good otherwise you will just have to connect the wire and you have to press this pin i think you can see it and you can understand what i am trying to say that's it and if you can see i have put some glue here so that it attaches firmly with the wear connectors since i have a soldering iron i have shouldered this and after that i have put some glue here so that it attaches firmly with the wares and then simply you have to plug it in on the pre-installed connector on your motorcycle and here you have a locking mechanism so that it will never be disconnected so guys this is my bike which is a hero passion pro bs6 version and on this bike only i'll fix this usb mobile charger so you have already seen the connections and everything so now i just have to mount it on my handlebar so guys i'll mount this charger on my handlebar and i have to take this wire through this panel i mean through inside this panel 
so you have two options either you can open this panel then you have to open this screw and here you have another screw so you have to open all these things but i'll not open this so i'll show you how to take the wire inside this panel so for that i have to open the seat so guys in the earlier part of this video i told you that you will have this connector pre-installed on your bike so yes this is that connector what i was talking about and with this connector only i'll fix my mobile charger and before i take the wire through this panel just let me show you that this is a 12 volt power socket and guys this socket will be operational only when the ignition is on so guys here i have a multimeter with me and just let me show you now the ignition is off and you can see there is no voltage and now let me just turn on the ignition yes now i have turned on the ignition and now you can see the voltage is 12.14 volt and guys another interesting thing i'd just like to share with you so just let me turn on the engine and you will see the voltage will be increased see guys now the engine is on and the output voltage is more than 14 volt actually so just wanted to share this with you and guys another thing just to keep in mind this part of the connector is the positive terminal and this one is the negative terminal otherwise there you would have seen a minus sign so to get this wire inside this panel i'll use this stick instead of opening the entire panel so just let me tell you how i will do it so i'll just insert this stick here yes i think you can see it and just using a cello tape i'll just tie this wire with this stick and then again i'll take this out through the opposite side so how is the jugar guys just let me know in the comment section below so anyways now let me just do it guys i live in a under construction para so you have to excuse me for that all the background noises and everything but anyways just so i have tied it and now i'll just insert it from the opposite side as you can see here just yes and it should be and guys see the magic now just you have to dress the cable well to get it on the handlebar so now my connector is here and i will just have to mount this on the handlebar the cable length is one meter and i yes and that is sufficient for my motorcycle as you can see so just let me plug in the socket and then we'll mount it on the handlebar and i'll also show you whether the charger is operational or not just let me plug it in and this is very simple guys just you have to plug in and here you have the locking mechanism so it will attach firmly as you can see here yes it has been locked now just let me raise the wire a bit so guys as you can see uh, the charger is now on my handlebar i'll fix it later just let me show you whether it's working or not so here you have a cap which makes it a bit waterproof but anyways just let me plug in the charger cable here yes okay and now just let me switch on the charger and yes it is charging that means i have connected it on the right way so after fixing it finally it will look like this uh, just try to take the wear below the uh, frame actually that will be better otherwise the wear may be cut since the seat will reside on the frame so guys that's how you should fix a usb mobile charger on your motorcycle and guys this is my one and only motorcycle which i am riding since first one year and i have driven it for more than 7500 kilometers and just to tell a little bit about this motorcycle this is a wonderful city riding machine i have also done a few a long tour on this motorcycle and this is an excellent motorcycle with excellent performance 
So just let me complete 10,000 kilometers on this motorcycle and I will do post a full review of this motorcycle. So guys, now you must have understood that why you should not connect the USB charger directly with the battery or why you should not cut anywhere on your motorcycle just to connect an USB charger. So if you want to fix a mobile charger on your motorcycle, please do follow this procedure what I have shown you in this video uh, so that there is no issue on the warranty or on the electrical system of your motorcycle actually guys when i was looking for setting up a mobile charger on my motorcycle i had visited a few mechanics in my local area but everyone told me that either you have to cut the wear or you have to connect the charger directly with the battery but i didn't like these solutions at all and that is why i decided to do it on my own if you have any question please do let me know through the youtube comment section below or you can ask me directly through the facebook page or my twitter handle if you have find this video helpful please do hit the like button below also don't forget to share this video and if you are new to this channel please do subscribe so signing off this is oni and i hope to see you in my next video thank you for watching